with a good run here up against the Dutchman and Mike Dedecker. Here's your MC, John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Mr. Greensport Players Championship Finals. Coming to you from Butlins, Minehead! Live on ITV Sport as we welcome the millions of viewers joining us around the world. It's time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, the real deal, Mike Didecker and Jack Park, Adrian Back in the commentary box for this one, Chris Mason and John Rawling. And this will be the first time these two have ever met on television, and I think it's stating the obvious in a, to an extent, Chris, saying AD really does need a run, doesn't he? Yeah, he's had a, a bad season, definitely. Uh, and he's coming to this time of the year where he's got a fair few quid to defend, so he needs a run in this one and, and definitely a run in the Worlds. Well, if he had, did badly here and then did badly in the Worlds, there'd be a possibility he could fall out of the top. 16 which is extraordinary really when you think that he's a, a double world champion and everybody knows that when he's at his best there he is the big lad from then, stoke on trent when he's at his best he's a sensational dart player um and not that it's a sign of any kind of crisis but he's actually using uh, the target raymond van barneveld darts a little bit heavier than he usually uses apparently he really likes the grip on them there's mike Dedecker. The Belgian, youngster, the real deal, PDC ranked number 72. He's had a few wins on the development tour. Yeah, he's in the start of his career, very talented. For that, there is Thank no doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, first leg is Adrian to throw first, game on. He briefly spoke to him this, this, well, this afternoon and he said he just, what, for, whatever, for whatever reason, he said, I've just got these darts and I can't stop practicing. He said, and, you know, I'm, he was the first to admit that he wasn't putting enough enough hours in. He says he just, just loves throwing with these darts. He loves the grip, he loves the balance. He said, I haven't, said, I haven't made a nine darter with him yet, but he said, I've only had, you know, a week's practice with him, yet, but I've missed about eight. <laughs> He's knocked right back on his exhibitions, hasn't he, AD, and working hard at his game. And I think a, an awful lot of darts fans out there watching him now, you know, with all fair respect given to Mike Dedecker, they would love to see AD back throwing top-class darts. Yeah, well, the, game, the game needs him. He's, uh, like I say, he's a serious talent. Not bad either. He's uh, one three eight. Lewis not on a finish. We'll be after these. Yeah, big time. 125, Mike in the trial, 138. 138, that's a good first one. Yeah, another one of those, the double 12. 106, Go for a 13 dart opening leg. Tops. Oh, there she goes. How about that, Chris? Nice way to uh, post a declaration of intent. Well, and that's the com most comfortable I've seen him look in. In, in literally months and months and months. That back surgery in June, didn't he? His, his wife, Sarah, has had health issues as well this year. This is AD. He's had a, another kid born this year. And on top of that, he's had the little joy, which is something I detest, moving house. Yes. Yeah, all, all, in, all in the one year. And people say, well, why has he had a bad season? Well, there you go. That'd be hard enough to deal with without worrying about having a sport to... To play as a profession. He looks 
really comfortable with these. 121. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Won the Players' Championship in April, A.D. Lewis. Players yeah, just prior five. to the, the upheaval of... And he had a nine data, didn't he, yeah. on the second one of the year. Applying a little bit of pressure here on this throw of Dedeckers. Dedecker needs a big visit here. And he's not finding it. He needed a treble and he's not got it, so Lewis, six from here. Yep. Break a throw. Possibility. He might stay up there because then 18 leaves a ton. Yep. 93. Not sure about that, AD, but there you go. If he wants a flake in it, 99 as opposed to 100. 97. Nice cover shot. Now 99. then, both on 99. Great dart. Tops now, and he's taken it out. Well, early doors, but averaging 10 more than De Decker at the moment. 97, well, 96 and change for De Decker. 107.36 for. Adrian played a couple of times before 16. and it's 2-0 to Lewis in terms of previous uh, previous performances 6-3 in Dublin in 100. September and then 6-1 in Barnsley in October so on form you would suspect it could turn out to be a steamrollering it doesn't always work like that though no Haven against Cullen <laughs> Sky Arena will be absolutely packed here. It's not far off packed now. If you watching the well, there's over a thousand in the uh, in the stage two arena where Watamina is leading Keegan Brown 3-0. One hundred. Some pretty wild weather down here in the last few days. Gathered that the, uh, the place took a bit of a battering the other night. 70 mile an hour winds around mine headway. A set up shot that was. To break straight back. Well, he could do with this. Yep. Double 12 for the young lad from Belgium, from Mechelen. And he's got it. Make him feel better. Well, settle any early nerves, but he doesn't appear to have any. Looks very comfortable. Calls himself the real deal. He found the holy field of darts. Oh, goodness. Be Some a, comparison. He'd be a scrapper if he is. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day when we had undisputed heavyweight world champions. <laughs> And he was one of the best. Oh, oh great dart. Drop it on the floor, pick it up and do that. Yep. Slot it straight in. See from the back of the arena there just what an impressive place this is to watch darts. There is a, hardly a bad seat. Well, I don't think there is a bad seat in the place. Holds some five and a half thousand people when it's packed out and they really revel in darts like that it always has a fabulous atmosphere down here doesn't it special 43 look at that everybody has their favorite arenas but this one i really do think takes some beating Lewis, great response, John. Well, he's poised, poised to do him again, isn't he? To go 3-1. Possible. 11 dart leg. And still averaging 106 and a half, double 16. Ooh. By Whiskers. 31. Well, he's still got time. Yep. He 
played really well, Aidy, didn't he? Getting to the semis of the world match play in July. That was after he'd had his back operation. Double eight now. He was looking very confident. 13 dart leg. News from stage two. Watamina, five nil up on Keegan Brown. You wouldn't have seen that one coming. One hundred forty. And we take a break at the end of this leg. Lady Lewis would love to have the comfort of a four-one lead, and it's looking likely. Trust me, you'd like to stay out there. <laughs> when you're playing this well, you just just want to keep going. Winner of this one plays Richard North, who was a winner earlier on. Another impressive young player coming through. Tough game. Lewis progresses. There's a new generation making their way in darts. Nature sport, of course. The old names don't last forever. 97. So one six four. What Amina has won six nil against Keegan Brown, and understandably looks absolutely jubilant. Lewis just setting it up nicely, checking where he's at, and giving himself a decent shot out fifty six. Assuming Dedeka misses, still got a chance though. We needed that for a bullseye. So A.D. Lewis now, 56 for 4-1. Oh dear. Tops then. Game Nicely done for 4-1. A.D. Lewis is on his way. He only needs two more and he's into the next round. Minehead, this man, James Watamina, needed just 9 minutes 45 seconds to sweep aside Keegan Brown. And Watamina celebrates as well he might. He faces Gary Anderson or the Irishman Mickey Mansell in the next round. He really did play pretty well today. And on the main stage here, A.D. Lewis leading Mike Didecker. 4 1, just two more required. Yeah, good game. 97 average to Decker, 101 for Lewis. Four out of six on the doubles for Adrian. 100% to Decker, if you give him a chance, to take it. Nine minutes, 45 seconds for 6 0. That is quick fire shooting. You said it was windy, but that's more of a whirlwind. <laughs> 60. Lewis was going brilliantly before the interval. Which probably came at the right time for Mike Dedeka, who clearly needs a run of legs here if he's going to have a chance of staying in the match. He was twice world champion, four times a World Cup winner as well. Sixteen. It's totally focused. Mm. And trusting in what he's throwing. Looks happy, doesn't he, at the moment? Yeah. Well, they just look comfortable. He looks like he's in control. But he oh, he could, well, not in control of the leg, but definitely favourite for it now. And more time to break the Dedeka throw again. Let him off a little bit there. PDC ranked number six, Sadie. And as we said earlier, needs big performances Whoa! here and at the World Championship to maintain a high ranking. Great first dart. 
Oh, Great tops. second darts. Tops for 145. Just the wrong side. Just under the bottom wire. That probably felt like it was in. Couldn't be much nearer, could it? Oh, goodness me. That I must think have. You can see much of it now. It must have looked in for me. Need a step ladder here. <laughs> Well, they do you to move all the way right, so double six it went into in the adjoining bed. There we go, the five one now throwing for the match. These look alike, Max. Masks have caught on down here for this, uh, this tournament. There's you can be whoever you want. 45. Chris Mason masks out there. Open hot. Bob Anderson sent us a wonderful 59. photograph of Chris about 20. How many years ago? Looked about 25 years ago. Yes. It's about 14. World Pairs finals, that was. 100. So Bob and Steve Raw against Bob and Phil Taylor. And Bob can still throw, can't he? Yes, very good. Still busy on the exhibition circuits. That's a timely moment to throw his second maximum. He's far from disgraced himself, isn't he? That missed Touché. opportunity. You can have one back. <laughs> Decent averages. Yeah, very good. Aidy Lewis, 176 required. That's six, not enough yeah, for the Decker. Six starts, that's it. I'm happy with that one because it's a bit of a blocker. Mm. It's more of a blocker. 18's 80. You risked it. Well, a little bit surprising, but still just about with the advantage. Mm, this is changing the complexion. 2-1-8 is in the leg. Great darts, another one for tops. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed a couple of big numbers. Is that just carelessness? Yeah, a little bit. 76. Mario right, 10 double 16 he's looking at. Oh, it goes for double 18. Yeah, and gets it. Seven, 14 darts. Well, that was one that got away from a Lewis perspective. Yeah. The first time that uh, many people will have seen Mike De Decker in action. Thrown a, a tidy match. He's not winning, and he's unlikely to win. But it's been a tidy performance. Well, some of the stuff we've seen today to, to give them players a bit of a scare. That's for sure. Fifty-five. Like a huge deflection. Yeah, didn't look a lot of room in there, though. 81. So, throw now with Lewis. I'll have to move from there, surely. Stay again. <laughs> Stubborn. Should go I down on the 19s. Five of them leave 170. Seven of them leave 132. 95. Go. Well, Lewis can get a big hit to make it a bit of a must take. That's not sitting nicely. Just got to watch that. He's now. Just thrown a few low ones in. 59. So 170. 170. No, sir. Another one there for double 18. That's brilliant. Great setup shot. Top stops. There's one of them again. Oh, that would have been a real Hollywood way to clinch the match. Certainly would. Real showbiz. 
He's hanging in there, though. Dedeka makes it 5-3. Their averages are getting closer together. Adrian's now back down to 96. Dedeka is holding a very solid 95. He just picked it up a little bit. Yeah, this is the leg. Third maximum. With throw. Oh, that's unlucky. That is very unlucky. Good time to have a bounce out, but if your opponent's just put a 180 in with throw in a leg to win the match, it's a disaster. Well, not a lot wrong with those, but Lewis with a, a nice cushion now as he moves towards the finish in what could be the final leg of the match. 95. Should be. Six. Well, he's got. At hmm. least six for 129. 140. Great first dart. Oh, outstanding. And he's yeah, done it! Really. What a superb checkout! What a way to win for A.D. Lewis. His fans celebrate. The big lads are going to be happy with the way those Raymond van Barnevelt darts went for him here this afternoon. And he's through into the next round. Comfortable winner, 6-3. A.D. Lewis looking to end the year on a high. It's going well so far, and it went very well for that man, Jermaine Watamina, the machine gun, blitzing Keegan Brown from the Isle of Wight. Absolutely delighted with his 6-0 whitewash. And he has been reflecting on that match with Ned Bolting. Well, that was as emphatic a victory as it gets. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. You were on fire down there, Jermaine. Yes, I am. Uh, my finish very uh, well. Um, I think he must take the first leg. He missed two darts. Yeah. And I finished the 40 last start with 20. Yeah. And the first leg was very nervous. Uh, I think he, he take that and I don't. If he, he don't, I take him. Yeah, and that's it, isn't it? You, you, yeah. He had his one chance and after that you just punished him. I mean, that was as good as, as you've played all year. Yeah, my scores was very brilliant. And after uh, two 180s, I think so, two or three. Um, yeah, I play well, I play good, um, as I, I feel uh, comfortable. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Now, you've had a couple of semi-finals, haven't you, on the tour to get you here to qualify. How far can you go? Um, yeah, well, I'm looking to go. But, um, if you play like that, you could go a long way in this tournament. Uh, yeah, I hope so, a long way. <laughs> in the next round, you will find out who you're going to play. Do you know what the choices are? Yes, I know. Um, my, as I play what I play now, don't matter who I play. Yeah, well, it could be Mickey Mansell, could be Gary Anderson. Yeah, don't get. Uh, when you win a tournament, you, you must win uh, against everybody. You have, yeah. yeah. And everybody will be afraid of this man if, uh, if you play like that again. Well done, that was brilliant. Thank you very much. Yes, fabulous display there by Jermaine Watamina, a very happy man. He was too, another very happy man, it should be A.D. Lewis, who's looking to go a very long way in this tournament as he tries to build up for a fantastic run at the World Championship next month. He's downstairs now talking to Stuart Pike. Yeah, thanks, Jackie. He is happy and, and he is smiling. Job done. It certainly was. I think, um, you know, it's a tough game. Mark Dizek is a very good player, so, uh, you know, not a, lot of, not a lot of people have heard of him before. But I've played him a fair few times on the floor and, and know what he can do. So, Do you feel a little bit under pressure because you have a few expectations now here and leading into the World um, Championship? Yeah, I mean, to, to be fair, it wasn't really that matter. I mean, I've been practising better now uh, than I probably have done all my career. Um, I haven't come off the board not for the last three months. 
which has been morning, day, noon and night. Um, didn't actually show that much tonight, to be fair. But I think um, as the tournament progresses, I think the longer formats, you'll start seeing the, the real me turn up, yeah. It's interesting you say about putting the work in. James Wade, uh, a month or two ago, said he can no longer play on reputation. <laughs> do, you feel, do you feel to a certain extent the same? Um, not really. I don't think... I, that doesn't really worry me anything like that. I think... Um, I've had, obviously, I've had a new set of darts this last five days, which is uh, coming to the equation a bit. I think um, I'm enjoying practicing again. I think, you know, if, if you play with the same set of darts for the last 10 years, you start, start to get a bit, you know, repetitive and, and you start slacking off a bit. Well, with these now, like I said, I'm, I'm constantly on the board and I know I can improve with these. So I think that's the difference where with my other equipment, I don't think I could. Raymond Van Barneveld darts, no less. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, like I said, I said to him earlier on, I said, if I play in the quarters in the Worlds, I said, at least I can take one of your darts out of your case. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> is, he, is he on uh, commission? <laughs> no, I've got some darts coming back here from China, what targets are making me know, which is going to be a very, very similar barrel to them. I think, um, but a different pattern on the door, so we'll see how they go. The key thing for you is that you seem to be enjoying yourself now. I mean, life's pretty good at home and life's brilliant. pretty good at darts. I couldn't ask for any more, you know. Like I say there, like you say there, life's brilliant still. I'm just had a daughter. Fantastic. Gives me awake all night. Fantastic. You can't, <laughs> you know, you can't be that, can you? <laughs> <laughs> well done today. Cheers, thank you. All the best, thank you. Oh, it's good to see A.D. Lewis smiling again, isn't it? It's been a very difficult year for him. Now, Peter Jakes of Huddersfield is going great guns against Christo Reyes of Spain. 4-1 he leads there. Reminder, it's the first 2-6. Now, we've got a bonus game for you here on the main stage in Minehead now. And it looks a decent matchup between the man who won this tournament back in 2011, Kevin Painter and James Wade. He could also do with a decent one here. Here's John McDonald.